Hello, you are welcome here in my busy little shop. On today's episode of What's On My Workbench, I just received a shipment of dies and finishes from Phoebing, uh, leather finishes. And I thought it was a good opportunity, you can see what I've purchased, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the finishes I use and, uh, and the reasons why, and why that may not be important to you because you may be making some different items. Great to have you in the shop with me today. So let's see what we've got here. It's been a little while ago I forwarded this uh, order to uh, Ian over at uh, Thebeans and and you know I, I hope I'm I think I'm saying that right. I think a few times I've been I've said five beans, but I think it's Thebeans leather supply. I've got a quart of resin. I've got some pro dye in black and golden brown and dark brown. Two of the dark brown. And then I purchased some uh, antique finish. I've got neutral, mahogany, antique, uh, dark brown, and black. And lastly, I bought a gross. We'll see if someone out there knows how much is gross. Now, don't go and Google it. You either know or you don't, but put it in the comments if you know how many is in a gross. But I bought a gross of uh, daubers here. And uh, I haven't used more than two dozen daubers in the last two years. But applying the paste, I find it's pretty handy to get it worked down in some of the smaller areas. And you can use, you know, a larger piece of uh, sheepskin, or I've had some people say they use, you know, old t-shirts and things like that, but use what works for you. So that's the key words there. Uh, I have people from time to time will say, I can't believe you use resiline. I wouldn't use resiline, you know, if, if I had to, uh, finish anything, or I, I only use tan coat, or I've never used tan coat, or I don't use neat's foot oil, I use olive oil. I think the important thing is, regardless of what the hobby is, a lot of it is find what works for you, because, you know, quite honestly, uh, it really is a little bit dependent on what you do and what you create. The uh, tan coat, in my opinion, when I use the tan coat on say a black leather dress belt. Uh, my concern is that if the person gets it wet through rain or, uh, you know, get sweaty, you know, depending on where you're at in the world, you know, that's more uh, likely to happen than other places. I just envision it rubbing off on a white dress shirt and ruining the white dress shirt. So the Resilin, I think, does a really good job of sealing that. And that, you know, you, you uh, need to take care of the dye properly when you get it finished, you know, do a nice rub off of it, uh, depending on what it is, an oil coat on it, more rubbing on it, and then seal it. Now, on a dress belt, uh, I, don't, I just don't see that being used in an environment where it needs to be oiled a lot. If it's a, a piece of saddle tack, I would never use Resilene on that. I would use tan coat because the tan coat allows you to oil through it. So it's interesting from time to time, I'm on you know, Facebook on some of the different groups of uh, leather that have to do with leather working and uh, well, and, and some other topics, tool restoration, but I see people really insistent on driving a stake in the ground, you know, you know, a place that you're not gonna be willing to move from on, you should never use this or you should never use that. And I, I try to be upfront and I hope I'm clear on it, and, uh, and and it's not like I'm getting beat up here, but I want it to uh, suggest that you try things and find what works good for you. So I like to use the Resilene on uh, wear items that you're gonna wear that have a dye on it to, to help uh, limit the rub off. Some of the early belts I made, I use tan coat on, and occasionally someone will tell me, you know, I still get a little bit of rub off uh, off of that belt. And they were some of my early belts, so maybe my process wasn't as 
clean as it is now. But anyway, I just uh, picked up a few of these. I thought since I was opening up my uh, shipment from them that it was a good time to cover that topic. So I use tan coat on items that are gonna be in the weather and I think will need to be oiled. Uh, I use resiline on items with color to help seal that, to keep that from rubbing off. And, uh, and I've had some belts that are just an oil finish and I just oil them and that's it. I don't put a tan coat on those at all. It really just kind of depends on what you're doing. So just a short video today on uh, the finishes that I use, why I use them. Uh, don't forget, tell me how many is in a gross. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe.